Hi guys, welcome. So uh, my name is Chris for anybody who hasn't been here before. Um, thank you for so much for coming to the channel. I hope you, um, if you like it here, you'll do those YouTube -y things like like subscribe, share, comment, etc. And to all my true, blue, blues, ugh, true blues and dear friends out there, thank you so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means the world to me. So what do I have here? I have a long anticipated, <laughs> when I mean long, I mean long anticipated unboxing for you today from Craftably. Yes, my first ever Craftably order is here. So um, I will get into the more specifics and details and everything when I take this, take them out of this box. I have not opened this at all. It's all closed. It just came about five minutes ago. But um, I just wanted to uh, do the little intro before I went gave you more details. There are two paintings in here. I'll like I usually do with my premiums. I only do unboxings of one at a time. So this is part one. You'll see part two um, another time. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So give me one minute while I open the box and take them out and reposition the camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So <laughs> here are the two um, canvases. They're in these uh, tubes, which by the way, they used to send these out um, and with, I guess, their orders that they have been fulfilling. Um, they're, you know, they, wow, what am I trying to say? Uh, um, they used to give these out with their orders all the time, but now they don't do that. You can buy these on their website separately. Now they come in boxes. Um, but when I purchased these, um, was when they were still coming with the tubes. And so um, that's why they're in the tubes. Um, so let me just put this one aside because that's for next time. Um, both of these kits are round. Um, and so let me explain a little the story behind these. So I have never had a Craftably before. Um, the, like I said, these are my first ones. And uh, so back in January of 2022, uh, uh, my friend Miranda, I, who I just adore, uh, she asked me, like, I think she asked me something along the lines of, um, is there any place you want to try or uh, they haven't tried before or something along those lines. And I said, yeah, I, I thought about getting, doing Craftably or we were talking about with the Craftably stuff that was coming out, something along those lines. So um, those little tricksters of my friends of mine who I truly appreciate and love to death, um, Miranda, um, Bev, Abigail, and Maritza um, got me a gift card for Craftably for my birthday last year. Um, and it was very kind and sweet of them to do that for me. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for ladies so very much for your generosity and love and friendship. Um, you know, it just means a lot. It really does. I'm not going to get mushy and go on about it because I do that all the time. And, um, I just want you to all know how much I appreciate you and thank you. And, um, again, for your generosity, but more, most importantly, of course, is your friendship. It, it's so important to me. Anyways, with that said, so I got the gift card, um, and I kind of resisted buying anything with it because, um, I personally like to see renders of artwork, especially if it's coming from a premium company, because if I'm going to spend money, whether it's my money or somebody else's money who got, who generously got me something, I want to know it's going to look fabulous. So I held off. I was looking at what they got and I held off, held off, held off until the end of May of last of 2022. Um, I don't remember why, but something was going on or... I don't exactly remember. I think finally at that time, the one canvas, which is the second canvas, which is another time, was the one, number one choice that I found on the site that I wanted. Um, so that rendering came out. I loved it. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to get it. I, I'm going to get it. I don't want to lose this uh, opportunity to get the canvas because I adore it. It's, it's just fantastic. Um, so I got it and with that I had some leftover on the card so I had to find another canvas which I was of course happy about. Listen, the more canvases the better. Um, so I had to fill out that 
uh, the rest of the card and I threw some of my own money in obviously to fill out um, with the rest of this second canvas. So this is technically the second canvas. Um, uh, and so that's kind of the story behind these. And so that was in right at the end of May, May 30th or 31st. I'm not sure which, I think it was the last day in May that I ordered it. And um, so we all know Craftably had the issues that they were having. And um, when their stuff finally came in um, months later, I didn't receive mine because this canvas was not in that um, shipment. So I had to wait wait a few more months um, to get the canvas because they, they held back the other one, which I understand, you know, they don't want to pay all that much for shipping and extra, you know, double for shipping it to me. So um, that's why I'm unboxing these now and getting these now um, is because this one just came in. So let's look in the uh, toolkit. I'm going to open them both right here. I don't know if they're going to have the same stuff in it as far as, you know, the goodies stuff. So... First of all, this beautiful bag. I love this bag. It's a purple uh, kind of bun um, burlap kind of bag. Um, it's really nice. Love this bag. Okay, so let's empty this one and this one. Okay, so I have two beautiful bags. Those are keepers. Then we got our kit, our regular kit. I'm just going to open one of these because they're going to be the same in there. Purple is my color, and what do we get? We got a purple tray with a little glitter in it. Very nice. A purple hand grip, purple wax, light lavender purple. Oh, uh, we got a pink wax and a little caddy. Um, we got a pen with a four placer, another four placer, and a seven placer. And we get these little murder tweezers with a little bit of uh, murderous end on it. <laughs> and they're purple. Love the purple. And the shade, by the way, of purple is my favorite color. It's a lavender. So we know here we have washi tapes. Oh, we got another one of these waxes. Um, so I have five washi tapes here. Okay, so we have a flowers. We have some hearts. We have some zigzaggy kind of things. We have some tartan and some triangle kind of a 60s retro look. So that's the washi tapes they sent. There's a good amount of that on, on the rolls as well, looks like. And our cover minders. Oh my god, these are so cute. Ooh, the the magnet fell off there, but that's okay. I can always glue it on. We have a pretty cute little hedgehog, a pink hedgehog with, it looks like a little flower on her head. <laughs> so that's cute. That's the one. And the second one is this really pretty star with glitter in it. Blue star with glitter and little glitter stars. Love this one. Fabulous. Okay. So that's what's all in there. I told you about that. I told you about the gave my thanks to my friends and the little story behind it. So let's get into the actual canvas. All right, so we open the thing here. Again, I'm new at this setup. <clears throat> I wish it was actually a little bit taller um, because the canvas is gonna be big and I, this doesn't look like it's a lot of space for me over here. Um, I'm gonna, and uh, my desk is all cluttery right now. Let me just put some stuff on the floor. I mean, it's, I just, it's a hot mess on my desk over here. And if it was cleaned off, I'd have a better way of showing you all um, what I have. Okay, so the top comes off like this. And the canvas, I don't think anything else is in there, nope. So I don't necessarily have a need for these two um, tubes that everybody loves. I, You know, it's nice to experience them. And this is gonna go back in them, <coughs> excuse me as far as storing them goes, but I don't necessarily, you know, have a need for them. Um, I know some people really love them. Uh, take the tape off here. Oops. I don't have a scissor with me right now. Okay, I'm just gonna break it. 
so the oops. so again we have a beautiful back of this um, linen-y kind of woven fabrics beautiful okay so it goes this way so let me take all this stuff out we have this we have this okay let's put those there oh it comes with a little book Um, it says, welcome to Craft Me Family, and tells you about accessories, stuff like that, how-to, features, you know, all that good stuff. A little general book. So, let's unravel her. Yes, I said her. And you'll know what it is anyways by the description, because I like to put premium names in the description in case somebody's looking specifically for a kid's canvas um they can see it and i'm going to show you this anyways so what is it it is i don't have um they do theirs obviously probably because it's an american company in inches so she is a this chris speak correctly please she is a 24 by 32 inch. This is called Hydrangea. And there are 50 total colors. Including in that is, we have one, two, three, four, five, six ABs and two rhinestones, it looks like. Uh, and here is the first look that you'll have of it. So here we have our little sticker sheets and legends so they give you some fun stickers over here so this is the canvas that I have I hope this is focused <laughs> these are the stickers for kidding up peelable of course and again here she is beautiful if you know me um, I love pinks and purples and it's just really beautiful and um again while i was never a fan of the big hide big head girls she is very pretty she doesn't have a weird look to her eyes or her face and it's just beautiful with those with our hydrangeas flowing from her hair and the ones on the side over here anyways we'll see that in the actual canvas i have been talking for almost 12 minutes so let's just get down to it right show you what you came for here she is. Yep, I, I was afraid of. This is not the best angle to get her in. <laughs> uh, hmm. You know what? This is an important kit, so I'm going to move you. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, as I was gone, so I repositioned, and I actually, while I had time to do that, I then flattened out the, the paper, or the cover, I should say, the paper. So I will say this before I get into it. The um, sheet is a thick plastic, which I like. I love the th ones with the thicker plastic. And um, yeah, so look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, she's a stunning piece of work. Stunning. Okay, so... Let's just move her this way so I can look at her a little bit easier and tell you all the information. So, again, it's called Hydrangea by Julia Speary. Uh, yep. And so that's down here. Oops, you can't see. <laughs> so that's down in this side, the left side. Then we have Share Your Progress over here, a guarantee with Craft to Be on this side. We have our legends on both sides. As I said, it's a 24 by 32 inch with 50 colors. Cratchably up top and again up there. So yes, she is just beautiful. I mean, look at her, the flowers. Oh, the beautiful purples and pinks in here. Oh my God. With the greens mixed in here. Oh, this is stunning.
like I think of this, and that's what it looks like to me. It's a ver very romantic piece. It looks like she's getting married. That's why she has all these flowers in her hair, which looks like a veil to me with her white dress on. Um, this to me looks like a wedding picture out in like with the green here. Why not? Can it be Ireland, right? <laughs> I don't know if hydrangeas are known in Ireland, but you know, known for in Ireland, but that's what this looks like to me. We all make up our own little stories. So, and we can background, we have the nice, um, of course, clouds over here with the, like I said, the green greenery back here, because she's outside. And again, the flowers on this side as well, it's kind of like a border to the picture. Oh, this is just so beautiful. So I will bring you up closer. This looks like a 60 by 80 centimeter. You all can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't have, I don't know conversions. I'd have to, I'd have to, I usually go, use the Googler to convert. Um, but that's what this canvas looks like, the size. Um, so everything is perfectly clear. I'll bring you up to the drill field to show you. I'm sorry, I hope the light is okay here. Her face looks really beautiful. into the flowers. Just so we get a little idea of what the drill field looks like. There's some darker color ones. Okay, so yes, all perfectly leg legible. Um, they use symbols, um, letters, and a couple numbers. They don't do the one to eight, A to, a to Zs. They kind of just more mix them up. So, with all that, let's look at what our colors are here in the package. So, they give you another, there's a sticker on here showing you it, and there's also a sticker on the tube at the end showing you what canvas it is. So, I'm only going to bring out the specials. <laughs> there's a lot of this um, 963, which is a very pretty um, light pink. I'm only showing you because it's right at the top of the bag. There's like, uh, well, there's one, or there's two of them there. And then there's another color, which is very similar. Just a, another light pink again. This 819. Um, okay, so we have this one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be it, right? Let's see, we start out at 43 to 50. Okay. Yep. So, let's start out with our two rhinestones. Just a very little bit, and they're both of yellow color. Um, very hard to tell the difference between the, oops, and there I go, dropping it. Where did it go? Oh, excuse my head. <clears throat> so these are our two golden yellow colors. Again, hard to tell the difference between them. Um, we have a little bit of AB green. I am looking at them and they do, the AB coating is nice. So <laughs> it was funny, I was just watching Maritza's video this morning when she was talking about the AB is her painting, her beautiful painting she got. And she was saying how beautiful the coating was, but the camera was not picking up at all um, on hers. So I hope it picks up on mine um, that it is quite nice uh, coating. But of course it always depends on the color. You know, for instance, this one isn't as Cody <laughs> or AB, but you can definitely see it. And I, yeah, I think it usually de does depend on the color. A nice bigger bag of this one. Again, nice, nice amounts. This beautiful purple one. Sorry again with the camera angles. I'm 
not sure where the camera actually the uh is focused on so i'm always wanting to bring you this way instead of really i should bring you right <laughs> this is a really beautiful color this is a ab208 that's a beautiful ab um now we have a lavender ab again gigantic bag love it <laughs> beautiful lavender and finally filled to the very very top ab08 which um hmm. Don't know. White, off white. It looks like a pretty bold white to me. So it could be the 5200 real, 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 real. Now I'm starting to lisp for some reason. Oi, what's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, by the way, excuse my mess. I told you, you could see mess back here. But yes, beautiful. Okay, so let's look for them. Let's go by least amounts. So. Let's start out with the two rhinestones. I'm just gonna, you know, again, they're both the yellowish rhinestones. So let's look for where they go. So that's 49 and 50. So that is symbol, an anchor and a sideways T. So we have them outlined right over here where you see this yellow color. That's rhinestone, rhinestone, rhinestone. Rhinestone in here, not there. Rhinestone up in here. Those are the anchors. I have not found the T's yet. Yes, they're very little and they're up top. There's a couple more of those rhinestones. Oh. Yeah, you can't see. over in here. Um, again, we have them outlined over here around her head, those anchors. And the only place the little T's are, the little bag of rhinestone is right in here. And they actually have the, the two color rhinestones both in here, in this yellow area. So anchors and then T's on the bottom, anchors and T's on the bottom, and then anchors over here. So very few of those T's, maybe about 15 of them, and the rest, that's all for that one rhinestone color. The rest is all the other color. That's going to be very nice. It gives that a little aura around her, you know. Oops, I hope I don't have an open bag somewhere. These might be just, again, my mess spares on the table. Okay, so let's go with this one then, because there's not much in here. Well, relative. 47. That is a, kind of a swirly. Um, that, oh, I should show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> this one, this pink right here. This is um, a, like a bubblegum bright pink. That's a swirly color or symbol, I should say. That's in her lips over here a little bit. Um, we have that in the flower over here. And the flowers over here. Over here as well. So they're not in every purple, um, pink flower, but just in some of them. Yeah, so that looks to be it for that, I believe. When I was doing that, were you seeing that? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, over in this side. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere else. On quick ex Oh no, I, I'm lying, see? I did find some down here on the bottom. Down in here, and this flower here, and this flower here. So certain flowers have those pink rhinestones. Okay, let's go to the greens. Let's uh, stick with the pinks and purples, right? So again, our green, uh, they're the same rhinestones, ABs. Uh, the green AB, that is 44, which is the like sideways hourglass. And those are these lines here. Some of the lines in here. Nope, again, can't see. Wait, if I leave this here. Oops. Maybe that's better. So in here, 
a little in here and here. There's another green here, but that's not an AB. That's that one. This is the AB here, these, the lighter one. Um, there's some in here in this flower in the center. There's some in this one as well. And that's it for that. Now let's go to this AB, which is 48. Again, it's a dusty kind of pink. And that's 48, which is an uppercase E. Okay, so we have them into the flower down here. Over here, some lines in here. It's, a, it's the lighter color in these flowers. In here. Up here. Up here. Upon our flowers on our head. In here. So basically most of the flower, uh, a lot of these pink flowers will have a little bit of a pink, that pink AB. Uh, now this be really beautiful purple AB. This is a beautiful, beautiful purple AB. Uh, that is number 45, which is uh, uppercase S. So we have some down in here, in here, in here, in here. A little bit over here. And this one. Over here. Again, just accented in a lot of these purple areas in the middle of the flower. You know, like kind of the, the kind of almost the vein of the inside of the flower, you know. Up here. And up here and a little bit over here as well in that. so two more to go the large bag of the lavender AB which is 46 that is the number four so let me start at the top this time just roll it up a little bit see if there's any up here Okay, yes, there's number four. It's a very light color, light purple in here. Again, all bordering these flowers, these light purple flowers over in here. None in her face, which is good. But there are four, uh, those, that purple AB in the kind of in the background over here and over here by her neck. Lots of fours over here, well, the purple AB, I should say, the lavender up in here. Tons of it, huge color block area right in here, all on here. Then we have back to the flowers down here. Again, more in here. So the background by her is a lot of that uh, purple AB. Again, into the flowers down in the purple flowers down here as well. Not so much on this side. Yeah, quick glance, I'm not seeing them in this side with these flowers, but the lighter flowers have them. And our final AB is the beautiful white. Look at that beautiful sparkle on that. Oh, okay, 43. And that is the O. Let's again start at the top which makes it a little easier for me. So we have lots of color blocking, lots of them over in here. So this part right here, which you see is the number one symbol. That is not an AB. Um, that's, pur that's a purple color. That's for anybody who knows the DMC, that's 155. I could tell it's purple on the can the code can um, by the, um, the legend, because to me, I would have thought that was white because it's printed and looking white. But on here, it's coming off as purple. So that's probably a purple color over here. And then that white is going to be in here. 
the AB, white AB in here, large area right there, right there. Outlining the flowers throughout here. All outlining over here. Outlining the flowers in here. Again, we have up top, large, like, it looked like cloud, maybe a, a thing of those white ABs, large patch over here, a, a patch over here, pretty sizable patch, small patch here. Again, a little bit outlining her over here on the outside of her, right under her eye, like uh, the blue in her eyes. There's white and in, inside of her eyes over here is those white ABs. I'm fine with that as long as they're not in her regular face. Oh no, they have some over here in her face. Now, you know, I'm interested to see this one color because it looks like purple, which I don't know. That can't be right. Hmm. This doesn't seem right. Why? Oh no. No, see, I'm getting myself a. Yep. This is why it drives me crazy when they do this. I'm looking at the. I'm getting these confused. I'm looking at the number one on here and the number one in the list. That's why I hate when they do mix up the, the numbers and the letters and stuff over here. I'm thinking that they're different. No, that's not number one. Ugh, number one is the symbol. That's 819. Which is, uh, okay. Yes, it's this pink color, which, um, which will be her flesh color. Um, I'm sure that's probably going to be okay. We'll see. <laughs> uh, so yes, this is actually the number one symbol. I'm sorry, guys, for mix messing this all up. And so this is going to be her color in her face and the color back here. And the, again, the what round ones are that's still the correct as the AB and again a little bit of AB in there I think that'll probably be okay anyways the white AB over here white over here going down to here almost done promise white AB is going through her dress large swathes 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 through her dress down into here mm. <clears throat> excuse me None in these flowers at all that I could see. No, none, none down here. And so there you have it. We have Hydrangea from Craftably. What do you think of her? Is she not just absolutely beautiful? Again, if you love pinks and purples, flowers, I mean, I don't know if this is going to come back. Um, they did have an issue with their artists where they were... Um, because of the issues with the production and shipping, um, some artists left, and but some of them came back. Um, so I don't know if Julie Speary is one of them. I don't know if this is gone forever or this will be one that's coming back. I don't know. So um, I don't know if this will be available at all to, again, but I am glad that I got it. it. It is a stunning piece of work, and the colors are going to be magnificent. I love the amount of ABs they added with the rhinestones. Um, I'm really happy with the charting. Again, everything is very legible. No issues seeing it at all. Again, love the plastic. The stick of the canvas is really good. So, so far, my first impressions of my first Craftably kit is pretty much A+. plus. We won't know till I actually drill what the uh, final product, final grade will be, but pre-drilling, a plus. Uh, besides, well, I'll give maybe I should give it a little, just an A um, because of the, the legend, which made you see me before mix up and look like a fool. So, <laughs> anyways, love it, love it, love it. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been talking too much. Um, stay tuned for the next unboxing that'll come out in a few days after this one. So, <laughs> thanks so much, guys. Um, and again, thank you to Miranda, Maritza, Bev. And Abby, thank you so much. I can't tell you much. 
how your friendship means to me. Love you ladies so much. Thank you all for watching. Give me all your comments below. Until next time, please everybody be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Bye guys.